Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Satus. In this video, I'll show you how to use Remo Task for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do we actually earn money on the side whenever and wherever? Now in this case, Remo Task might be a helpful platform for you. So first things first, what is Remotas? So Remotas is a platform wherein you could go ahead and do some specific tasks to basically teach AI to learn. So all, we all know that AI is something really, really helpful to us at this A and H. Now in this case, you might be wondering why does AI need training? Well, AI is like any other human. So AI, with the only difference that it's actually digital and it's actually available anytime, but in this case, AI doesn't just pop up anywhere. AI is somewhere in between a toddler and a professional computer. Now, depending on how you train that specific model or that AI, the performance would actually improve as it learns more. Now, in this case, Remotas is going to be something that would actually help those AI to learn more on specific topics or in some specific aspect. Now, in this case, there are going to be different uh, tasks that is within or that, that you get on Remotas. But th th first things first, let's go to the website, which is going to be remotas.com. Now, in here in their website, you should be able to see the different information on how it works, what are the things that you should expect on their website, and a lot more. Now, Remotaz is actually pretty simple. You just need to learn about the platform, what things that you could do and not to do. And you also have the option to do tasks. And once you've do, done those tasks, you'll be able to be paid on a weekly basis. Now, I do have to warn you, remote test is not something that's going to replace your nine to five day job. But if you want to do this on the side, like for example, you could do remote test like for two to three hours daily for you to complete those tasks. Well, in this case, you'll be able to earn around 200 to 300 US dollars a month. So it's actually pretty small if you're going to consider if you're going to consider it in a US standard, but for other countries it might be big depending on where you live. But yeah, in this case you could go ahead and use Remotas here to earn side money. Now in this case we when we scroll down a bit here, it's going to say you can basic or er, work from anywhere. So meaning as long as you have an internet and a computer or a laptop, you'll be able to earn or you'll be able to do tasks in remote tasks, which is re something really awesome if you just want to earn money on the side. Now in this case, again, like what I said before, there are going to be certain types of tasks that you'll be doing. Like for example, we have our difficulties here. Now we have our first difficulty here, which is just uh, highlighting people. We also have the second difficulty here, which is highlighting the traffic here. And the third difficulty here, which is going to be the three dimensional mapping here. So yeah, so depending on the tasks that you do on their platform, you'll be able to get a certain amount of payment. So the harder the task, the more you get from the task itself. Now you might be wondering where is remote task is available. So when you go to their uh, platform here, this is actually a blog on the website. So as you can see, these are the website that currently has remote task available. So there are quite a lot of countries here, but if you don't see your country here, you could go ahead and try signing up into the platform itself and see if it is actually supported or not. Now, before we create our account, what are the other things that we could see here? So you can also learn more about Remotas here before you create your account. So in this case, it is how to join Remotas, can you use mobile to work, and a lot of questions here and FAQ. Now here when we scroll down a bit, you should be able to see the end of their website. Now if you want to create your account in Remotas, what you need to do is just click on the sign up button at the top right here. And in the next page, you have two options. So you have the first option wherein you'll be able to uh, basically create your account manually or use your Google account if you already have that one. But since I already have my account here, I'm going to be immediately log in into my account. So by the way, I actually use my Google account for this one. It makes things a lot easier for me because my already existing information on that specific, all my specific account is going to be transferred into Remotas. Now, also, when you actually create your account here, it's going to give you a short uh, interview as well as a short um, training regarding their platform. 
Now in this case, the training itself is actually pretty easy. It's just about security and what, uh, what are things that you do and not do on the platform itself and what you can share and not to share on the platform. Now, for the interview, it's more about what your PZ or what your experience is. Now, in this case, what I answered before is just a simple uh, deter uh, determining where in my where is the range of my computer, like the uh, VRAM of my computer, the memory that I have, and all of those things. So, depending on how you answer on those uh, surveys or in those interviews, uh, the tasks would be allocated according to those that you answered. So, make sure that you answer as truthfully as you can, as if your PC can't handle a specific task, you might not be able to accomplish that and it might affect your profile here as well. Now, in here, this is the once you've done all of those tasks and all those uh, surveys or all those questions, you'll be rejected into the dashboard here. Now, there are only a few things that I could show you here in their website because, again, Remote Tasks actually prioritize their security on their platform itself. Now, in this case, you'll be able to see the overview of your account, like for example, your pay here. And you also have the option here for help center if you have any guidance or if you need any guidance or help on specific uh, features that is on remote test. And we also have the your account section here, where in this case, like what I said before, I would suggest you to complete your profile. So meaning any information about yourself, anything that you could do so that you'll be able to get appropriate tasks that is according to your skills and the capabilities of your PC. Now in here, when you go to task log, this is going to be the logs for your task, as well as the overall learning, uh, earnings here, calculated tasks, earnings, days I've tasked on. Now, we also have the balance here, in this case, from the name itself, this is your balance. Now, you also have the remote task tiers. So, there are different tiers on remote tasks. Like right now, since my account is bringing you, it's going to be in the standard tier here. But if you want to oh, basically improve your uh, task tier here, you need to basically do more tasks. And from there, you'll be able to basically get uh, some perks on those specific uh, tiers if you reach them. Like for example, MTQ support, preferred tire here, send the ticket per decision, and a lot more. Now here we have the onboarding, where in this case, from the name itself, this is the onboarding page, wherein you need to basically answer a few questions and basically set up your profile. And as you can see, this is the onboarding page, wherein you'll be able to do a few things here for you to be onboarded on the platform itself. Now we also have the certification exams here, like for example, transcriptions, and a lot more. Now from here, we have the feedback and the support section, as well as your account here. If you click on it, you'll be able to see your different, the in, different information about yourself or your account here. But if you want to log out, just hit on the log out button here and you'll be able to basically log out. Now, a few tips on um, remote tasks here. So one of the most important tips that I could give you here is to basically make sure that you read through the whole instructions that is included in the task itself. Now, it is important that you read through all those instructions so that your success rate on that specific task would actually be a lot higher. Because basically, uh, completing tasks here, you'll be able to earn more and from there, you'll be able to improve your account or your profile as well. So yeah, make sure, make sure that you read through all those uh, information, all those instructions so that you won't get frustrated yourself when you're doing those tasks. Now, another thing that I would actually suggest you to try doing is make sure that you keep the security and all the training that you did when you created your account remote tasks uh, keep in mind. So make sure that you remember all of those details, all the security requirements. Do not share information that is within their uh, specific platform. Like for example, you did a specific task on a specific project. Make sure that you not share that to any other people as well as if you have a friend that is a remote tasker as, as well, make sure that you don't share that information as well. So what information you get from the platform itself, do not share it to other peoples because of the confidentiality of the project itself. But yeah, so those are the only important things that you should remember here in remote tests. And that's about it. But if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.